In this video, we'll create a responsive image slider using HTML5 and CSS3. So let's take a look at it here before we get started with our image slider. So as you can see, it's going to slide through four different plant images here that we have laid out. And then if we flex the web browser down, we're going to see that the image slides will stay 100% of the width no matter how wide or narrow we flex it to. Okay, so let's go ahead and flex this back up and then I'll show you what we need to get started. So in the description of this video will be the HTML5 CSS3 slider starter files where I'm going to open up index.html with the free text editor called Sublime Text and then I'm also going to have index.html open in Google Chrome as my web browser as we're building the image slider. Also in the starter files will be all of the images included inside of the slider. Okay, so I'm going to put this down beneath the video here and then we can go over to index.html to get started. So I'm just going to write a little bit of text in here to make sure that index.html is connected to Google Chrome which it is right here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started with our first tag. So the first thing that we're gonna add is a div ID, and we're gonna call this slider. Then inside of our div ID, we're gonna use the HTML5 tag called figure, which will contain all of our slider images. Okay, so we'll have image source, and then IMG for the IMG folder followed by plant.png. So all of the names for our images are basically the same, so I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and paste it four times over to save us some time. So the first and last image will be the same, uh, just plant.png, and we'll find out later when we're laying out our CSS why we have the first and last the same. For now, let's go ahead and check Google Chrome and make sure that we have all five images displaying here. Okay, which we do. And now we can get started with our CSS. So let's go ahead and reference our div ID slider here with hashtag slider. And then we're going to say overflow hidden. And then we're going to reference our figure tag here. So slider, figure, and then position relative and we're going to give this a width of 500 percent so each slide image takes only 100 percent or a fifth of our slider okay so we're seeing a little bit on the side here of the next slide so let's push the um, first slide off to the left with margin zero and left zero and that's going to move it off to the left and we're still seeing a little bit of that slide here the second image so next let's say animation 20 seconds because that's how long our slider duration is until it completes its rotation then we'll reference the slider ID name there and say infinite so it never stops okay so next let's go ahead and style our images here so we'll say slider ID figure IMG and then we'll tell them to float to the left and we'll say width 20 percent because when we divide 100 percent by 5 we get 20 so now if we refresh this uh, second slide we're not going to see any of we'll have our first slide taking up the whole uh, screen here aside from a little bit of padding off to the sides. Okay, so now we can move down to the fun part, the, um, the keyframes which will allow for the slide movement along with the animation style. So we're going to say keyframe slider to reference our slider ID and then open and close our swirly brackets and then we'll say 0% left 0 Okay, so then we'll say 20% left zero. So as we know, our first slide takes up 20% of the screen. So at zero and 20%, we don't want it moving to the next slide yet. So it's just gonna keep us there on the first slide 
to start with, which is important for when we go around the full rotation back to 0% and 20%. So next, let's say left negative 100% at the 25% mark, so slide number 2, and 45% mark. Okay, so now if we refresh, it's going to sit here on the first slide for a moment, then it's going to go to slide 2, and then slowly but surely it's going to slide back to slide 1. Okay. Alright, so let's keep going here. So next we'll say 50% negative 200% left and then 70% left negative 200%. And this is going to bring us to the third slide here. Okay, so now if we refresh, we go from the first slide to the second, and then to the third, and it's going to bring us all the way back to the first slide, but it's going to move a little quicker now, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get us to the fourth slide now. At the 75% mark and 95% mark, we'll say negative 300%. Okay, so left negative 300%. And now if we refresh, we go from the first slide to the second slide, then the third, and then the fourth. Now it's going to bring us all the way back to the first, but a little quicker. Okay, so then lastly, to get us to the fifth slide, we'll say 100% left negative 400%. And then let me just show you why we have the last image the same as the first. So let's say that we, we call this plant three. So that is this image right here that we're seeing. Okay, so we'll go from the first slide to the second slide to the third to the fourth, and then watch once we get to the fifth. So we'll land on the fifth, and then it's going to change back to the first. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to change that back to just plant.png, and then once we get to the fifth slide, it's going to change back to the first slide, so we see that slide for the full duration. So while we have five images, it's really a four image image slider. Okay, so that does it. I want to thank you for sticking around with me through the tutorial. Please remember to like the video, comment, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.